Hey guys, in this video we're going to be building a large capacitor bank for a railgun or a quail gun. Let's get started. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Wait, you haven't watched the video yet. So here we have eight 7,000 millifarad, 300 volt DC capacitors. These are very, very big capacitors. So when we link all eight up in parallel, it's going to be enough power to probably blow up an entire Coke can. We're going to put all of these capacitors on this little metal plate with the screws over here. And then we're going to connect them in parallel using these aluminum rods. And to charge the entire thing, I'm using a $4 350 volt eBay step up converter. And I'll put this in the description. Okay, so let's put this together. You'll notice there's a positive and a negative. This one's this side's a positive, this side's a negative. And since these capacitors do not like being reverse polarity, because, you know, they go boom, uh, we're going to make sure to put them all the right way. Okay, so now we have our entire capacitor bank set up, and we're going to start arranging them. So, plus is going to be this side. And the negative is going to be this side. So I finished up the wiring, and here's what it is. So it's plus on the outside and minus on the inside. And right here I have the two electrodes, which we're going to put things across and watch things explode. <laughs> so now we're going to do the charging circuit. And basically, we're going to need to put this small charger board on the battery and connect the voltage from the battery to the battery and then this to the capacitor bank and I am going to attach a multimeter to the capacitor bank to make sure we know when it's charged and when it's not charged because if it's fully charged this thing easily has the power to kill someone easily no question about it You will see it slowly gain voltage. So that was really fast. We're already at 17 volts and I literally put the thing on the battery for like 5 seconds. So at 17 volts, this is going to be the arc. Not too bad, right? Oh wait, there's still 17 volts in there. Okay, here I have... This, I should probably be wearing gloves, but since it's only 17 volts, it's not a big deal. There you go, welded the metal a little bit, and we're back at 0 volts. So I am going to turn on it again. We're at 43 volts. And anything past 20, I'm not okay working with, because these capacitors, like I said before, can easily kill someone. That was really loud, and it destroyed the metal over here. Okay, this is 80 volts, and I'm probably getting a PVC pole so I don't blow my hands off. Okay, uh, holy. So, um,. What the f- Um, so, uh, uh, guys, I don't think I'm gonna be experimenting with this anymore. Oh, uh, not with the crappy safety gear I have now, because that was only 158 volts, and I'm pretty sure you guys saw this high as that spark. Yeah, it's discharge to zero. But yeah, that was only 158 volts, and uh, most people, if you're viewing this video, you probably know that capacitors have a exponential charge, so the more you charge them up to their, their like limit, the more energy they'll hold. 
So basically 158 volts is literally nothing. You guys saw the, the size of the spark from 80 to 150. It quadrupled at least. And that thing was about as loud as an M80. A real M80. But I think probably, yeah, look at this. It's literally welded. Yeah, that's not coming off. Look at this. Okay, well, <laughs> came off, but it's literally just welded itself to it. So I think we're going to um, stop playing around with this now, especially since it's kind of dark outside and people are going to think I'm like lighting off uh, boom booms. Yeah, that was pretty scary in person. I'm definitely going to get earplugs and stuff. Okay, so there will definitely be an update on this. I'll probably build a railgun or something too. But that was way out of my comfort zone for now. Especially since it, I'm, I literally had it sitting on the dirt, which is wet. And I'm barefoot on the dirt, which is kind of stupid. All in all, this blew my mind at how powerful these small capacitors were and how much energy they had in them. But, yeah, uh, there's definitely going to be another video, maybe next week, maybe the week after, I don't know. But, share your comments below what you think I should do with them. They're clearly way more powerful than I thought they'd be. So, yeah, that's it. Please like and subscribe now that you've actually watched the video. Peace.